Abba. Can I ask everybody to please stand so I can salute the flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I ask the clerk to call the attendance. Councilor Brown? Here. Councilor Judith Garcia? Present. Councilor Teneri Garcia? Present. Councilor Lopez? Present. Councilor Robinson? Present. Councilor Recupero? Present. Councilor Vido? Present. Councilor De Jesus? Present. Councilor Hadelberg? Present. Councilor Melinda Vega? Present. Councilor Taylor? Here. All members present, Mr. Chairman. The communication received from the city clerk. Please be informed that the senior member of the City Council, Leo Robbins, has requested for a special meeting to be called for Tuesday, January 3rd, 2023, at 7 p.m. in the City Council Chambers. The following subject matter will be discussed. Salute to the flag, roll call of members. Nominate and elect a president. Nominate and elect a vice president. Nominate and elect a delegate to the school committee to approve the roll call positions, to approve seating arrangements, and to approve the rules and regulations. I make a motion to accept the call of the meeting under suspension. If there are no objections? Seeing no objections, so moved. Um, at this time, as the senior member, I'll open up nominations for the president of 2023. I move to place Councillor Leo Robinson's name in nomination. I second that motion. I make a motion to nominate Calvin Brown. All nominations are closed. You will vote by name. Councilor Brown. Calvin Brown. Councilor Judy Garcia. Calvin Brown. Councilor Teneri Garcia. Calvin Brown. Councilor Lopez. Leo Robinson. Councilor Robinson. Leo Robinson. Councilor Recupero. Councilor Vido. Councilor Robinson. Councilor De Jesus. Councilor Brown. Councilor Brown. Councilor Hadelberg. Leo Robinson. Councilor Melinda Vega. Councilor Taylor. Leo Robinson. One, two, three, four, five, six for Leo Robinson. One, two, three, four, five for Calvin Brown. Councilor Robinson is your new elected president for 2023. Thank you. At this time, I'd ask the city clerk to come forward to oath, do the oath of uh, office. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. And affirm. And affirm. That I will faithfully. That I will faithfully. And impartially. And impartially. Perform all the duties. Perform all the duties. Incumbent, incumbent upon me. Incumbent upon me. As the president. As the president. Of the city council. Of the city council. According to the best. According to the best. Of my ability. Of my ability. And understanding. And understanding. Agreeably. Agreeably. To the rules and regulations. To the rules and regulations. Of the constitution. Of the constitution. And laws of the commonwealth. And the laws of the commonwealth. The charter. The charter. And the ordinances. And the ordinances. In the city of Chelsea. In the city of Chelsea. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you, Mark. I will have some brief um, remarks. Good evening, everyone, and Happy New Year. First, let me thank our outgoing acting President Calvin T. Brown for his leadership. 
as we move forward, there will be some issues that we as a council will have to vote on what should be in the best interest of our city and the residents. I would like to quote the Isley brothers, we have work to do. This council has plenty on, on our agenda for the next couple of months, such as the budget, the capital improvement plan, and more importantly, appointing an acting city manager and to start the process and search for a new city manager, along with hiring our own clerk to the city council. I will guide and show leadership when we deal with the above issues to the best of my ability. Let us continue to move our community forward. A good community at its core is a place of peace and safety that provides opportunity for all development. The well-being of a community is the sum of its physical, economic, and social matters. It is easy to see a community as a place, homes, schools, streets, parks, church, shops. These make up the infrastructure of a community. The soundness and attractiveness is essential for a great community. As a good community also includes economic development, jobs, businesses, education, and sources of capital investment. Without economic life and opportunity, a community can't meet its material needs and a good quality life cannot be enjoyed. In closing, I will end with a quote from W.E.D.B. Du Bois. We should never forget to urge corresponding duties upon our people, the duty to vote, the duty to respect the right of others, the duty to work, the duty to obey the laws, the duty to be clean and orderly, the duty to send our children to school, and the duty to respect ourselves even as we respect others. And I would like to thank you for giving me this time to speak. And at this time, I'll open up the floor for nominations for the Vice President. Chair recognizes Councilor Enios. Uh, I nominate uh, uh, Councilor Jemaifa Kupro. Councilor Kupro. Councilor Kupro in the second. Seeing no other. Oh, okay. Second. I nominate Norlis De Jesus for Vice President of the 2023 City Council of Chelsea. Need a second. I second it. Okay, seeing no other nominees, we will close that portion. You will vote by name of the person that you, you're, you're interested in nominating. Councilor Brown. Norlis De Jesus. Councilor Judy Garcia. Hey, Councilor Norielis De Jesus. Norielis. Councilor Taniwi Garcia. Councilor Lee Cooper. Cooper. Yeah. Council Lopez. Joan uh, Recupero. Council Robertson. Council Recupero. Council Recupero. Council Vido. Council Recupero. Council De Jesus. Council De Jesus. Council Hadelberg. Councilor Recupero. Councilor Melinda Vega. Councilor Norilis de Jesus. And Councilor Taylor. Councilor Recupero. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven for Councilor Recupero. And one, two, three, four for Norilis. Councilor Recupero is your Vice President for 2023. Congratulations. I'd ask the Council to come forward at this time so I can be sworn in.
solemnly swear. Who solemnly swear. And affirm. And affirm. That will faithfully. That will faithfully. And impartially. And impartially. Perform all the duties. Perform all the duties. Incumbent upon me. Incumbent upon me. As the vice president. As the vice president. Of the city council. Of the city council. According to the best. According to the best. Of my ability. Of my ability. And understanding. And understanding. Agreeably. Agreeably. To the rules and regulations. To the rules and regulations. Of the constitution. Of the constitution. And laws of the commonwealth. Laws of the commonwealth. The charter. The charter. And the ordinances. And the ordinances. For the city of Chelsea. For the city of Chelsea. For Help me God. So help me God. Uh, going to open up the floor to delegate to the school committee. Nominations. Jamari Garcia. Okay. Any other nominations? Seeing none, we'll close that portion by name. Councillor Brown. Mrs. Garcia, Councillor. Councillor Judy Garcia. Uh, Councillor Tanaydi Garcia. Councillor Tanaydi Garcia. Myself. Present? <laughs> no. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> 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 Me. Councilor Lopez. Councilor Tanaira Garcia. Councilor Robertson. Tanaira Garcia. Councilor Recupero. Tanaira Garcia. Councilor Vidal. Councilor Tanaira Garcia. Councilor De Jesus. Councilor Tanaira Garcia. Councilor Hadelberg. Councilor Tanaira Garcia. Councilor Melinda Vega. Councilor Tanaira Garcia. And Councilor Taylor. Councilor Tanari Garcia. Ten for Tanari Garcia, one present. Tanari Garcia is a delegate to the school committee for 2022. You can come forward to be sworn in. I, Tanari Garcia, mm. do solemnly swear and affirm that will faithfully. Faithfully and impartially, and impartially perform, all the duties, perform all the duties incumbent upon me, incumbent upon me as, a delegate as a delegate to the school committee, to the school committee according, to the best according to the best of my abilities, of my abilities and, understanding, and understanding agreeably, agreeably to, the rules and regulations, to the rules and regulations of the Constitution, of the Constitution and, the laws of the Commonwealth, and the laws of the Commonwealth, the Charter, the Charter and the Ordinances. And the ordinances of the city of Chelsea. Of the city of Chelsea. Oh <laughs> so we got. Yep, seats. Oh, at this time, the chair recognizes um, Todd Taylor. I move that the seating arrangement taken at the December 19, 2022 subcommittee meeting be the seating arrangement for the 2023 year uh, under suspension if there's no objection. Oh, can we get a second? Second, Mr. Chairman. Do I have to do it under suspension or roll call? On a roll call. Roll call. Okay. Roll call vote. Okay. Councilor Brown? Yes. Councilor Judy Garcia? Yes. Councilor Teneri Garcia? Yes. Councilor Lopez? Yes. Councilor Robinson? Yes. Councilor Recupero? Yes. Councilor Vido? Yes. Councilor De Jesus? Yes. Councilor Hadelberg. Yes. Councilor Melinda Vega. Yes. And Councilor Taylor. Yes. 11 in favor, none opposed. The seating arrangements are for 2023 as drawn December 19, 2022. We now move on to Councilor. Councilor Bedeau. I move that the. I'm sorry, Mr. Council. I'm sorry. Yeah. You skipped seven, seven. So we didn't do the. Um, the roll call? Position. Mm -hmm. Okay. So All right, we'll, get, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get back to it. We'll get back to it? Yeah. Okay, then I move that the rules and regulations uh, for the council for 2022 be the same rules for our 2023 council pending a subcommittee to review any changes. And I'd like to adopt that under roll call vote. Second. Clerk will call a roll. Yeah, roll Councilor Brown? Yes. Councilor Judy Garcia? Yes. Councilor Teneri Garcia? Yes. Councilor Lopez? Yes. Councilor Robinson? Yes. Councilor Recupero? Yes. Councilor Vido? Yes. Councilor De Jesus? Yes. Councilor Hadelberg? Yes. Councilor Melinda Vega? Yes. And Councilor Taylor? Yes. 11 in favor, none opposed. Mm -hmm. And now we have the Councilor um, Tenere Garcia. 
I make a motion to move that the roll call positions taken at December 19, 2022 subcommittee meeting be the roll call positions for the year 2023 under suspension. Who we'll asked for a roll call vote on the adoption? Second. I'll do a second. Okay. Okay, Councilor Brown? Yes. Council Ten uh, Judy Garcia? Yes. Council Teneri Garcia? Yes. Council Lopez? Yes. Council Robinson? Yes. Council Recupero? Yes. Council Vido? Yes. Council De Jesus? Yes. Council Handelberg? Yes. Council Melinda Vega? Yes. And Council Taylor? Yes. 11 in favor, none opposed. Motion adopted. That's your roll call position for 2023. All right, for those of you who don't know, actually our clerk retired at the end of December. <laughs> we are presently without a clerk. So that's one of the issues that we will be taking up. But on, be, on behalf of the colleagues in city government, we're able to pick up something for you we'd like to present to you. If anyone has any comments on legislative. About the city clerk, I mean our clerk. They do so. We have a oh, wow. clock. And the inscription on it is Paul Casino, School Committee, Alderman, Acting Mayor, City Council Clerk, thank you for your 50 years of service to the City of Charleston. And thank you, my friend. <laughs> yep, the Chair recognizes uh, Brown. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I just want to congratulate Paul on his um, outstanding job um, as a city clerk. <laughs> also, as, he, as, as was just mentioned, all the work, the dedication, the service to the city of Chelsea, obviously to the residents of Chelsea, um, standing in the gap. Um, it's my hope that this will not be his last meeting. I know he's ready to retire. I know he's ready to move on and, and lay his head in green pastures, but I hope that the city council will be able to offer him some type of you know, um, job to allow him to come back until we can get that position filled. Um, it's a world of knowledge leaving here with Paul Casino, and it's just an understatement just to, to just say thank you but I just really want on behalf of myself, my family, and all those that I represented in the past, we really thank you for your dedication, your service, and just showing up every night when we need you here at the uh, altar. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Councilor Cooper. Uh, I've known Paul many, many years. He used to be my boss. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was a great boss, and it's been my pleasure to know Paul all these years. As far as I can say about Paul, he's always been fair, always been open to all of us. Anybody that needed any help can go see Paul, and Paul will try to help us. Um, it's been my honor and my pleasure to know you all these years, and whatever you want to do in the future, enjoy your life. And it's my pleasure to know you. Thank you. Thank you. And you were a good mailman. Too. Yeah, counsel of the law. I don't know if my microphone works. Yeah, it should. Okay, well, I'm not going to get up, not for a lack of respect, but if I get up holding a microphone, I might bust out in song. Yeah. Um, I've had the honor to work with Paul Casino for the past seven years. Um, I think the one thing that is missing on that plaque is amazing um, parliamentarian and human. Um, when I first became president of the city council, he was threatening to retire. And I was like, oh no, you're not gonna leave me. <laughs> and I was grateful that you were able to extend uh, your plans and stay longer. I know you've given your all to the city council and a lot of the things that people don't see on the other side is all the things that happen behind the scenes and counselors talk about each other and Paul just goes, you know, he doesn't comment. Um, and 
when I first got into politics, I came in because I was arguing on this side, and I didn't really know much about what happened on that side. But being able to be on this council, I'll tell you that there are two people here that have really restored my hope for what municipal government could be in representing the people and doing the work of the people, and that's our departing city manager, Tom Ambrosino, and our city council clerk, Paul Casino, Tom Ambrosino and Paul Casino at Rhymes. Um, um, I'm just super grateful that I had the opportunity to work side by side uh, with you, um, what you've taught me, not just about the city council rules and parliamentary and uh, Robert's rules of order, but just in terms of temperament, in terms of um, how to navigate through trying to get work done, how to work with people and reach across the aisle. It really has been an honor to work with you. I'm super grateful to have known you. You've been a good brother. You've been a good friend. You've been a good city clerk. And I just wish you nothing but the best and lots of health in all your future endeavors. I hope that you stick around. I know that Councilor Robinson um, has been discussing trying to get you to stick around a little longer to help us in our transition. But there have been a lot of changes, the pandemic, staff turnover and you just rocked with us through everything and that's just a that's just a testament of the person and character that you are and just super grateful for you mr casino um and i'm looking forward to you know seeing what happens to you on the other side <laughs> council todd taylor so i'd just like to echo what my fellow counselors have said i don't think that there's very many other people in Chelsea who have given the amount of service that you have to this city. Mm -hmm. and, and let me tell you, there's not many people that I admire more than, than, than you, Paul. And on a personal note, when I came in here and I was, when I was first here and people were kind of giving me a rough time, I really appreciated you and your advice to me, which I'll keep between us. But, but, you have been the consummate professional and I really appreciate that because I think that's something that this city really needs and you will be sorely missed and and I wish that you weren't going but you know you've got a <laughs> you've got a life and you've, you've put it enough service and so um, from the bottom of my heart I really say thank you so much for all that you've done not just for me or for this council but for the city of Chelsea and uh, I really mean that. Thank you so much, and good luck. Councilor Judy Garcia. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, briefly, I'll say congratulations to you, Mr. President, and also to Vice President, um, Councilor Recupero, two leaders who have served also a long time in our community, and thank you for being our next leaders. And what better way to close off with recognizing a cornerstone of this council, and that is you, uh, Paul Casino. Honestly, you know, a lot of the colleagues here have talked about many of those skill sets that you have. To me, I can say I've been here for seven years. You've shown to be a person with a wealth of knowledge. You're someone who is fair, patient, but above all, you have dedicated not only your personal time to the, to the city, but you have also dedicated years and years of service in so many levels. And getting to know you, learning a lot about the parliamentary procedure, learning a lot about how to navigate uh, city council and how to be effective is something that I'm gonna carry with me in, in my years of, of service that, that are to come. But I really want to uh, take a moment to really acknowledge, congratulate you for, for all these years of service. I know that you're gonna be doing amazing stuff. Um, now that you retire, take some rest because it's gonna be, it's a big year for Chelsea. It's a year of transitions. We have our city manager who is also leaving us uh, for, for another job and I wish you as well uh, a good departure, um, but I hope that Chelsea moves in the right direction and you guys have left a, an incredible legacy. So thank you, Paul Casino, for what you've done. Thank it's you. gonna be very difficult mm -hmm. to fill your shoes. Um, thank you so much. Any other counselors? Councilor Tunel Garcia. Um, I just want to say that I'm going to miss you. Um, we are going to miss you. I obviously echo all my colleagues, but Paul, you are, are our rock, and we're not going to have you, and it makes me so sad. But thank you for being patient, loving, and just an, an open book for us. Thank you. All right, that's what Councilor Union was so
Paul, uh, I just want to say thank you for all the years that you dedicate to the city of Chelsea. Uh, you taught us a lot um, during my seven years that I've been here. Every time I call you and ask you a question, you were there for me, and I really appreciate that. And from the bottom of my heart, I wish you the best, and, and thank you for everything you have done for us. Thank you. Councilor Norwees. And I echo what my sister counselor says, um, that Naidi and I, being some of the new counselors and having this experience, you know, um, the first time as counselors, we relied on you a lot. And I came in to this seat wondering, like, okay, I've seen Paul before, but from the other side, right? And, um, and just getting to know the sense of humor that you have and how welcoming and warm you are to everyone, regardless of race, age, culture like you are truly unique and i don't think we're going to find someone that's going to fit the shoes the way the way you have so thank you i'm eternally grateful even though i only got a short bit of time with you thank you council no window everyone has already mentioned so much so i'll i echo what a lot of my colleagues said but um Paul truly, truly has been an honor working with you in all of these years. Um, you are truly amazing, and I like can't believe it's been six years. Like that is a huge deal, you know. Um, that is a lifetime, and we are so fortunate to have you. And you know, you will be missed. And I mean, that just shows. And like when I think about it, I'm like, damn. I'm sorry. You love Chelsea, you know what I mean? And we need people like that. Mm -hmm. um, and so truly, truly, it has been an honor and you have tremendous shoes to fill and a legacy that you've left behind. And thank you so much. Thank you. Councilor Hattelberg. Just to make sure it's unanimous, thank you very much. We really appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Okay, in case you're wondering, the flowers came from me, ladies. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh -huh. Any, any, any announcements? <coughs> Seeing no announcements, I have, I have a moment of silence for a long time. Chelsea resident that grew up here, uh, played ball here, uh, Kenny Murphy, who passed away. Murphy. Kenny Murphy, yes. Seeing no further business before this council will adjourn. <laughs>